Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended on the center. And I'm gonna show you in this video where you can find a ton of queen bees, get yourself some honey, and then how to actually tame them. It'll be a kind of a multi-purpose video and I'm gonna show you how to do that really quickly. So essentially what we're looking for is these beehives. You can place them down and then put a little bit of rare flowers in their inventory and they automatically produce honey over time. And in order to do this, you have to obtain a queen bee. Now, what you can do in order to obtain a queen bee is go to the Redwoods side of the center. Now, just so you can see, the northern part of the map is Lava Island. The middle part is your jungle plus your snow biome. And then the bottom half of the map is the actual Redwoods Forest. Now, the Redwoods Forest is filled with queen bees. Now, some people have a problem finding them, but I'm going to show you a little trick on how to actually find them really quickly and then... I'll tame a couple so you can see. So there are a few clusters that are always in the right spot. So if you go to the coordinates of 80 to 90 and then go from 40 to 60, in these two quadrants, there is always a ton of queen bees. As you can see, they are also there right now. There's six of them right in that region. And they are pretty easy to spot because they are always the exact same height up. Now, what do I mean by height up? I click on this one randomly, right? Anyways, so what does it mean by height up? So what height up means essentially is the queen bee on the trees is always going to be about six ish, maybe seven ish foundations or balls up in the air. Now, they are kind of hard to spot sometimes because they sit and they can be the dark color just like this. But as long as you hear a queen bee respond, like when you get nearby and does that like, ah, ah, thing and that noise that it just made, that is how you know there are queen bees nearby. Now you tame them by putting a couple of c4 charges down i usually put one to the left and one to the right so that way i don't have any render issues and it'll blow up the beehive now when it that happens oh man we have a little bit of a problem because this one is glitched Ooh, ooh we might have found a glitch nest it does happen where you can get glitch nest i would not recommend wasting this much c4 um but yeah see how this one is actually glitched you have to hit one of these because otherwise it will not blow up now that's unfortunate but i'm not going to go into that one we'll go to a different nest instead let's just go to this nest why not right um so anyways sometimes it happens where they get glitched inside of like a little zone and you want to avoid those nests because they suck that's there's no easy way to put it so they just suck now if you hit a nest oh my gosh is there two glitched oh man that's crazy doesn't happen very often wow it's kind of cool yeah, that's weird so see how these are glitched what i mean by that is when you throw an explosive down one explosive charge should be killing these nests but unfortunately it's not right now and that is problematic but you have to pop these nests one c4 charge is the best way to do it but if you can't get it to pop you can technically hit it with something and that's how it's supposed to be see how i did 10,000 damage right there so that was not a glitch nest and then it releases the queen bee out of it. Now, when it releases the queen bee out of the nest, see how they're all exactly six or seven high? You'll see that the queen bee stops aggroing and sending things towards you. Now, what we're waiting for when it does this is once it throws, it'll go down to the ground. It'll slowly go down to the ground. You want to stay a ways away. And once it hits to the ground, you want to kind of go and sprint at it as quick as you can. Because you can see that these are the things that'll tame it. And we're just going to sprint and mash E as we're going. And if you don't mash E in time, it'll turn yellow. And when it turns yellow, you cannot tame it. So you have to leave render range again. And now that we've left render range, we have to keep repeating this process until we can sneak up on it. Now, there's a couple things that you can do in order to make that sneaking process work a little bit faster. If you have ghillie armor, ghillie armor will reduce your presence detection rate. So will bug spray as well as uh, what's the last thing? Uh, mushroom um mushroom brew i think is what it is or the cactus broth it might be cactus broth but anyways if you have those things it'll reduce your detection range making it so you can get closer to this thing without actually um causing it to flee so now that we have our ghillie on i'm gonna go ahead and smack e on it and see how we were able to get just a little bit closer that allows us to get to the queen bee and then we'll go ahead and obtain that beehive now i'm gonna go and repeat this process one more time so you can see what i'm talking about We'll go ahead and go to the next queen beehive on the center. They are all give or take. Oh, this is funny because there's a, there's a death cat right next to it. But oh, well, we won't go over there. Oh, there's two beehives. Nice. And uh, I'm just going to like avoid the death cat. I wonder if I can see for him before he sees me. Nope, I can't. 
he just he just wants to eat me but whatever um so you can see there's queen beehives i'm gonna go ahead and toss the c4 on this one i'm gonna go ahead and toss the c4 on this one and then we'll go ahead and pop both of them now you want to keep a distance away again because you want the queen bee not to actually aggro to you notice how that one's glitched this one is not the queen bee will slowly go to the ground and that's what we want it to do that's the goal here once it gets to the ground um you'll see it slowly dropping come on now is it inside the tree it does happen sometimes it just sucks when it does it is oh no see how it got stuck inside the tree it does occasionally happen where that's the case not super common but it will um so it's I'll give you another good example of what you can do but anyways if you have gillian you should be able to get this thing right off the bat let's go ahead and try one more here c4 10 000 damage and the queen bee will drop while we wait for it to drop we can put our c4 away and then we're just gonna mash e as soon as we can get close to it now see how it's dropped down to the range oh i missed it no see how it turned yellow on my screen right before i got to it means that i uh pissed it off now if we can leave render range and then come back what'll happen is it'll turn un yellow and we just have to beat it to turning uh to hit e fast enough before it recognizes that we're there so you can go into first person mode sometimes that helps and you want to aim from behind it if you can and just like that there we go so now we've obtained ourselves another beehive and that's that so again that is the process of taming the bees. This is where you find the bees. And they're exactly usually six to seven stories, if you want to think of it that way, up in the air. They will be all over this place. We'll go ahead and find some more for you. As you can see, they are all over the place. Make sure you hear the queen bee kind of like bark, if you want to think of it that way from the inside. Otherwise, you won't actually be taming it. So anyways, hope for this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.